Hi Jill, Mike Rice with Infinity of Nashua here. I wanted to show you around the Q50 that you're interested in. So this has a 3.0 liter engine, it's got 300 horsepower, it's got beautiful rims. It is all wheel drive. The nice thing about the all wheel drive system is it doesn't work all the time. So you don't get the wear on your transmission and tires that you would on other vehicles that has all wheel drive all the time. This is gonna transfer power as soon as it senses any slippage in the rear wheels. So a much, much better system. Nothing for you to do. All you gotta do is drive. It'll take care of the rest for you. So a couple things I wanted to show you. Okay. One thing is the back doors. I really like, it's gonna be a little hard to see because I'm so close here, but they'll actually open up at an 80 degree angle. So very, very nice. If you have that awkward package you're trying to get in, or if you have an older couple, it's much easier to get into the back seat. So one of the other things they left, they did, is they actually left the seats long. Notice how long these seats are. A lot of manufacturers will cut their seats down short to make it look like there's a lot of leg room, but it's very uncomfortable on a long ride. So they left it long and just contoured the back of the seat a little differently. So this car has the essential package, which is gonna be the navigation system for you. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, it does have a remote start with it as well. And with the Pro Assist on this car, you're actually gonna get the blind spot warning, backup collision intervention, which is terrific. The round view monitor, I'll show you those in a minute with the moving object detection and front and rear sonar. So really nice, nice setup of equipment on this vehicle all your windows and mirrors are right here for you very easy they do have a little bit of wood grain i like it it's a nice luxurious amount of wood but it's not too much where you feel like you're in your living room so uh let's go ahead and it is push button start and just push that button and we're all set and so you do have uh, commands here on the steering wheel you can use to go through your screens. You do have the navigation system. One of the things I love about the Q50 is you can customize it to whatever you're comfortable with and you like. So I'm not a big fan of the satellite view. That's what you're looking at now. So I'm going to go into your settings and actually go to navigation I'm going to change my map preferences and I'm going to go to map view and I actually like the bird's eye view so this is for me is a little nicer when I'm driving and not using the directions and just want to see the map I can actually it gives me a better view of the upcoming roads and streets and things like that so nice setup you do have your dual temperature controls so you can separate each side with different temperatures and your heated seats. One of the things I like that's very easy to operate is your navigation system. So just simply by touching the button here, you can interrupt voice prompts and speak a command to me. Navigation. Navigation. Please say or select street address. Please say again. Street address. Street address search in New Hampshire. Please say the house number, street, and city name only. For it. 9 Hickory Street, Hudson, New Hampshire. Showing matching item. One. One. Calculate route or adjust location. Calculate route. Calculating route. And that's how easy it is to set up your navigation system. 
So some of the other things it'll do also um, is, let's do this. You can interrupt voice prompts. Audio. Audio. Please say or select. Tune 102.5 FM. Playing FM 102.5. Change your radio station. Oh boy, that was loud. <laughs> Sorry. So the other thing you can do is your temperature controls. You can interrupt voice prompts and vehicle information. Vehicle info. Please. Temperature 72. Temperature 72 Fahrenheit. And boom, there goes your climate control. And you're all set. So really nice setup, Jill. I really think you're going to like the way the voice commands work and all of the features are very easy to use. And we're going to have a product specialist go through each and everything for you. You do have your radio here. You can also operate everything right from here. And one of the things I did want to show you is your camera. Now every car, new car now, pretty much all of them is going to have a backup camera. Ours actually has cameras on all four sides. So I just hit the camera button and there you go. You can see the top view actually giving you warnings because we're close to the car behind us. And right now I'm looking at the front and you'll see the green lines. As I turn the wheel, the green lines turn. That's your predicted path of where you're heading. So nice setup there. And I'm going to put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera. And there it is in red, letting us know we're extremely close. Okay. Now you'll see the button down in the bottom in the center. It says change view. This over here is actually your passenger side. So you can use the yellow line to line up with the curb so you don't go ahead and scratch and scuff your new rims or damage your tires. So very, very nice having the cameras on all four sides of your vehicle so you can know what's going on all the time. You do have a drive mode selector. You can do a normal, which most people have, a snow mode. Probably not going to need that very much. And then they do have an eco mode and a sport mode. So the eco mode will just give you better fuel economy. And the sport mode will give you a more responsive accelerator. Underneath your armrest, you're going to have power outlets, USB ports, and AV jacks as well. So again, it's Mike Rice with Infinity of Nashua. I hope you enjoyed the little, very short kind of uh, overview of the Q50. Look forward to getting this set up for you. You can reach us at 603-891-1400. Thanks, Jill.